One of the oldest items that we have in the museum is this bow saw. It dates back to the early 1800s. And uh, bow saw was used mainly by um, carpenters and cabinet makers to uh, cut wood. It wasn't used by homeowners. And it could do cross-cut saws, cross-cutting, which means that it cut across the grain of the wood. But it could also be used for ripping, which means if you wanted to cut a strip of wood off a large board, you can rip down. But if you notice, you can only go so far before you run into an obstruction. So this particular saw, by loosening the bow and then tightening it back up again, you can turn the blade 90 degrees, and now you can cut all the way down. You can rip the entire board. This is also a bow saw, a little bit more modern. But this particular bow saw has another name. And before I tell you what that is, let me tell you a little bit of a little story. When we first, we being settlers, first arrived, the, the French and the British coming to the New World, uh, they were mainly trappers and hunters. And th there was not a lot of money. There was no money to be exchanged in the New World. So these people would go and they would get furs and bring the furs to the trading post and they would exchange the furs. They would bother with the trading post manager, the owner. I need lead to make musket balls. I need some food, some cornmeal, some flour, uh, things like that. And in exchange, he paid for them in pelts. And one of the most popular pelts furs that they had were buckskins. The the negotiation would go something like, well, how much do I owe you for all of this, this uh, uh, dry goods that I'm purchasing? Well, I'll take four buckskins. Well, I think that's too much. These are really big buckskins. How about three? And it would go back and forth, but they would exchange it for buckskins. Over time, buckskin got shortened to buck. And now, fast forward 100 years or so, we have people living in large cities like Boston who were not farmers, who were not hunters. They did things like uh, lawyers, merchants, um, sailors. So they lived in homes and they needed supplies from the woods, one of which was firewood. Farmers were looking for ways to make money, so they would tell their children, go cut some wood, some logs. Cut them to length, and we'll truck them into Boston and exchange them for some cash. We'll make some bucks. So the terminology turned into, instead of just cutting logs, that became known as bucking wood, and that's still used today. So when you cut a log for firewood, you're bucking the log. The saw you're using when you buck the log is a buck saw. And the hoss, the saw hoss that holds the log that you are cutting, that allows you to cut a lot of logs quickly, is the saw buck. <laughs>